he's just like throwing me across the house. <laughs> he got, I don't know why he got mad. He just started yelling at me and he started throwing me. <laughs> Jason Bobert. All I wanted to say, all I wanted to say is me and my dad were starting to yell at each other. He didn't really get physical with me. It was just like, I was overwhelmed. Wait, hang on. Me, me and my dad were over. Hang on. Hi. I'm the mom. Hi. Um, okay, so there was an argument over dinner. I understand you guys got to come and talk to them. I'm down at our second location with... I was already here getting things ready for an event, but I don't know. I was talking to him, and he had said that he had called. So just to let you know, I have him, his dad's up at, at the house. Yeah, he had told me he was going to be down at the farmhouse, and I've got him headed that way to help him. It's the uh, yeah, he doesn't need help, but they can they can come here. Yeah. I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. I want to talk about this truly horrific incident involving Lauren Bobert and her teenage son when her teenage son back in December called 911 to report that his father, Jason Bobert, uh, was attacking him. Uh, the 911 operator asked if he was okay, and then Lauren Bobert got on the phone, said everything was fine, and then their son took back and recanted uh, the previous statements that there were issues here. I, I want to talk in detail about what happened. Really good reporting here by the insider. I want to give them the credit they deserve. But I, I want to first explain why I want to talk about this. I think that's important. And I don't care about what goes on in, in the private homes of politicians. However, what I do care about is hypocrisy. And when people like Lauren Boebert and Marjorie Taylor Greene want to lecture us about how we should be living our lives, when they want to dehumanize other individuals, when they want to try to impose a fascistic theocracy on our great democracy, it is important to point out their consistent hypocrisy. They need to focus on their own homes. They need to focus on their own private lives, which are apparently, and not surprisingly, in complete disarray, and to stop trying to spread their misery using government to attack our private lives, to go after us, to go after people that they don't like. They need to stop using government to attack people and trying to impose their beliefs and acting like they are perfect. It is utterly ridiculous. This article by The Insider is called Lauren Boebert's son called 911 in tears to report his father was throwing him around the house. Then she, Lauren Boebert, took the phone. The article talks about how in December, the Garfield County's Sheriff's, Sheriff's Office 911 operator was called. Back in December, Lauren Boebert's teenage son informed the 911 operator that Jason Boebert, his father, had gotten physical with him, quote, throwing him around the house, and he didn't know why. The call then ended, and while Garfield County Sheriff's Office deputies were on the way, the teenage son, according to this article, then called back the 911 operator with Lauren Boebert then jumping on the phone and then told the 911 operator, we don't need help. My son doesn't need help. And then Jason Boebert denied it as well. Um, Lauren Boebert responded to the insider and basically said, none of this happened. You're wrong. She said the safety and well well-being of my family are the most important things in the world. We've had some tough times and heartaches. I've taken action to ensure there are better days ahead of us all, I think referring to the fact that uh, she filed for uh, divorce. Um, an affidavit says that when Jason was served divorce papers and the petition, he became extremely, extremely angry. Um, Lauren Boebert denies that that took place. 
go to December 11th when this uh, emergency call was made. It happened at around 6.46 p.m. Insider obtained the phone call and a log of the call. Uh, the teenage son, Bobert's teenage son, was sobbing and gasping for air and had trouble speaking while his dad was, quote, throwing him around. That's what was going on on the 911 call. So the dispatcher asked Bobert's teenage son whether Jason Bobert was being physical with him, whether Jason Bobert was attacking him. The teenage son said, yes, he's throwing me around. He called me a psycho when he's the... And then the call trailed off. Uh, the dispatcher said, we're sending someone immediately to the house. And uh, she asked whether there were weapons in the house. The teenage son said, I mean, there are weapons in the house, but I don't think he would use them on me. He just does this to me so much. Bobert's teenage son said, he does this to me so much. He said, I'm in the driveway. My mom's staying down at the farmhouse because there's problems with them. I'm going down there where he can't get to me. Then the call ends. Five minutes later, you can hear Lauren Bobert yelling. And then you hear the son who called back and said, all I wanted to say is me and my dad were starting to yell. He didn't really get physical with me. The teen started to tell the same. And then Lauren Bobert took the phone. Lauren Bobert goes hot to the dispatcher. Hi, I'm the mom. Okay, there was just an argument over dinner. I understand you guys got to come talk to them, she added. Um, saying she was down at our second location with her son preparing for an event. Just to let you know, I have him. He's at his dad's house. The dispatcher said that they would be sending officers. Lauren Bobert then said to the dispatcher, he doesn't need help, but yeah, they can come here. Um, and then the police arrived and then the family basically said nothing happened at all. And the teen then basically said, um, you know, he was, uh, the dad was just upset. And, uh, and then Jason Bobert's response to the insider was nothing physical happened. And he says he never gets physical with his kids. He said he may have overreacted, but he just makes his kids run laps and do push-ups. Um, and that's how he disciplines his four sons, um, but he doesn't hit them. He just has them run laps and do push-ups, which seems to be the opposite of what the uh, teenage son said uh, on the uh, during the phone call to the 911 operator. Uh, Bobert, uh, Jason Bobert says, every teenage boy is going to want to test the bull. We've gotten over it. And by the way, this isn't the first 911 call that was made. There's been many others reported. Lauren Bobert has a long arrest history. Jason Bobert has a long arrest history. Of course, Jason Bobert, uh, we've reported before, um, exposed, previously exposed his genitals, I believe, to minors at a bowling alley, which he was uh, arrested for. Um, and here's what Lauren Bobert basically posted uh, around the same time uh, that that happened. And she basically said, when you speak the name of Jesus, you aren't just saying a name, you are declaring what you know about the authority and splendor of his name. The next day, she then tweeted again, conservatives, we need to be on offense, not defense and, um, you know, and, and, and more posts like that. And, and, and look, folks, the broader point I want to make here, though, is the hypocrisy, okay? When these MAGA Republicans try to attack other people's families, attack people who are happy, attack people who are just trying to live their lives, it is so disturbing. They need to focus on themselves. They, they, they don't need to be spreading their misery elsewhere. And we're going to call it out here on the Midas Touch Network when things like that happen, because it's all about the hypocrisy, hypocrisy, hypocrisy. 
I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. Hit subscribe. We're on our way to 1.5 million subscribers. Thanks to your support. Check us out at patreon.com slash Midas Touch. And also wherever you get audio podcasts, subscribe to the Midas Touch podcast. It's free. All right, hit subscribe on our YouTube channel. It is free as well. And have a great day. Hey, Midas Mighty. Love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram at Midas Touch to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.